Hey there, I am Kelsey with PoofyCheeks.com where I share hundreds of free cut files, silhouette, cricket tutorials, and a lot more. Today I'm here and we are gonna be making reindeer ornaments using your Cricut machine. To start out, you wanna gather all your supplies and I have listed those supplies down below in the description. And I've also linked to the free cut files, which I shared on my blog and we're gonna be using to make our little reindeer face. So I have a mini bundle of Christmas face designs, different eyes, nose, mouth, you name it. And what I've done is open that in Cricut Design Space. I open the SVG file. I'm gonna delete everything that I don't wanna use. For my little reindeer, I'm just simply going to use um, some of these eyes with the eyelashes. Once you get those alone, you're gonna resize them. I'm putting these on a circle ornament and I want them to be about two and a half inches wide so that you can see it. And it's sized well for the ornament and the face that's gonna go on it. I'm gonna add a red little nose and some antlers. Once you've finished sizing it, click make it up in the top right hand corner. And I will be cutting without a mat today. I've got the Smart Vinyl, so I'm just gonna load that in, follow the prompts that it tells me to do here in Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna set my material to the Smart Vinyl Permanent. I've already got my blade installed and loaded, and it's that simple. It really just took minutes to cut these little eyes out. So what you're gonna do is use brown acrylic paint from the craft store along with a clear ornament. I'm using a glass ornament from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I also got the paint at Hobby Lobby, but you could get it at Michael's, Walmart, wherever you get your craft supplies. You're gonna squeeze that acrylic paint down into the ornament and just roll it around all different directions until the entire ornament is covered in that brown acrylic paint. This can be really fun for the kids. Um, my kids personally were having a ball just rolling their ornaments around trying to get it all covered. You just wanna make sure if you're, you, if you're doing this with small children that they do not um, put it upside down while they're turning it so that the paint drips out. Once you have your ornament completely covered with the paint, you're going to put it in the cup upside down. So I just use these plastic cups. Um, you can use a solo cup, Dollar Tree cups, whatever you'd like. And you're gonna put it upside down so that all the excess paint can just run right out and it will dry quicker than um, if you just let all that paint sit at the bottom. That would be no bueno. So putting the paint in the ornaments is something I do the night before and then I just let these sit overnight. The next morning I will come back and I will turn it so that the opening is facing up just so the paint can completely dry. And as you can see, quite a bit of paint is coming out from these ornaments. Now you have your vinyl cut, you have your ornament painted brown. Because I'm using Smart Vinyl and I don't wanna waste it, I'm just gonna use my craft knife and just gently cut um, the vinyl off of the carrier paper. Um, if I just cut it out with scissors, then I would not be able to load the Smart Vinyl back into my machine and I would waste the rest of that, um, that strip on my sheet. So this is just a way that you can still use the Smart Vinyl without having to waste any. I'm using my favorite transfer tape. It's the paper transfer tape. I just love this stuff. It's really the only transfer tape I use. With the transfer tape, I lifted the little eyes off and now I'm going to line them up onto my ornament. So um, if you have like a shirt or something like that, sometimes it can be easier to lay your ornament in that shirt so it won't roll around. I'm just gonna use my hands and line it up as best I can, but that's just a trick I like to do if I'm making a lot of ornaments at once. Smooth your vinyl design on gently if you are using glass like I am. I'm gonna put some hot glue and then I got some really tiny red pom-poms. So I'm gonna glue some of those on there for the little nose on my reindeer. 
As far as these antlers go, you have to get these antlers. They are so cute. I've linked them below. Um, I purchased these from an Etsy shop and this Etsy shop has tons of amazing stuff. I spent far too much money. I'm gonna use hot glue to put those on as well. And here we go, simple reindeer ornament, low cost. You can make a bunch of these, gift them, sell them. They're just super cute. Don't forget to stop by poofycheeks.com where you can grab the free cut files. And you can also follow us at Poofy Cheeks blog on Instagram. I am on Instagram all the time. That's the best place to find me. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to answer them.